Hi, I am Yassin Barhomi. Thanks for inviting me to the MIDL 2021 conference. I'm a PhD student at Rowan University uh, working on vision transformers and their application. And today I'm pre uh, presenting my multi CNN vision transformer hybrid model called Scope Farmer and its application to the RSNA hemorrhage classification challenge. So the input for our model is an RGB image that we input into the uh, CNN in order to extract high level features. And, and the dimension was set to be seven by seven by 1024. Uh, we do the same thing for the uh, CNNs put in parallel and we extract multiple specific features specific to each CNN with an identical uh, dimension. So height and width must be identical, of course, it's seven by seven by, but the, uh, the number of channels can vary, but in our case, uh, we set it to be 1024. So we can uh, compare these features and get against each others using the uh, cosine similarity metric. And the CNN that we used was said to be exception, an exception CNN uh, in order to highlight the pre-training paradigm that we used uh, for each CNN. So we concatenate these uh, features and we get the uh, 7 by 7 by n times 1024, uh, which will be the uh, feature map uh, input to the uh, vision transformer. So first we uh, tokenize these or use the patch extraction uh, with a patch equals to uh, 1 by 1. And of course, the number of channels is conserved. And the number of um, channels will be 49, which is 7 by 7. Uh, in our case, since the patch is uh, equals one, um, and of course we add CLS, and the total will be uh, forty nine by uh, plus one. So um, the VIT input um, uses sixteen by sixteen by three. That is uh, a dimension of seven hundred and sixty eight. In our case, the dimension is n times one thousand and twenty four, which is larger. However, the number of channels in our uh, in our case is fifty, uh, in in the uh, while applying to the raw data is uh, 197, and thus our implementation saves some uh, computations over um, uh, while comp computing the, the uh, self-attention uh, layer. So we input uh, these tokens or these patch vectors into the uh, transformer encoder uh, encoders, and then the MLP head, and then we derive our classification. So for the pre-training data set, we, use, we used an image net, and a data generating uses using style transfer method applied on ImageNet. So basically, we take an image, uh, and the target will be uh, an MRI, an MRI um, head scan, maybe, and um, the output will be a uh, style transferred ImageNet data set example. And we, we change the MRI, uh, these target images, in order to get, uh, ver I mean, in order to to unbiased towards a specific uh, target image, but uh, and we use this method in order to um, uh, bias our model to, to the shape of the brain or to the shape and the texture uh, of the uh, MRI scan. And, um, and, and the training data set uh, that we used was RSNA data set uh, derived from uh, DICOM, uh, DICOM files, and we used the standard three windows to extract these uh, JPEG formats. So the uh, results, um, we, we, uh, we can see that as much as you add uh, CNNs, the, the uh, classification accuracy increases. Uh, also, the, the more that you uh, change the way that you pre-train your CNNs and the, the uh, classification uh, increases, that is, um, the richer the, your pre-training paradigm, paradigm and the richer are your features and the, the better your accuracy. Thank you so much.